Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you joined me again today. I'm in Jeremiah chapter 33. Let me read it and then we'll talk about it. It just says, uh, Thus says the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that had formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of the city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. What the Lord's talking about is he's the one that formed not only the earth, but also the cities like Jerusalem. Jerusalem in Hebrew it means city of peace. And he says um, he's the one that formed it. There's a the city of Jerusalem is on Mount Zion, and God creating the earth also happened to create the mountains that are on it. And he says to establish it. The Lord is his name. The Lord, the name of the Lord, um, it's uh, the tetragram. It's Hebrew four letters, yod Hey vav Hey. It means Yahweh, perhaps, um, how to spell it, but it's the contraction of the verb to be in three tenses. I was... I am, I will be. It's the verb to be in the first person singular masculine. I was, I am, I will be. What he means is, I was the creator. I am God and I will be the one who faithfully fulfills every promise that he ever makes. Then he says, call unto me. That's talking about prayer, talking to God. And I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. It means what you don't know and haven't seen yet, God already knows what he can do and will do. Um, he will always keep his promises, but he may even answer your prayers if you ask him for something that's not just to benefit yourself, but it's for good of others, for example, or to establish righteousness. God will listen to that and answer that. Uh, if it's a prayer made in faith to him, he says, uh, I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which you don't even know. What he's saying there is he's ca more capable of delivering an answer than you and I are of even understanding what we need to ask. <laughs> um, one way to figure out how to ask the right thing is to read your Bible, please, and uh, discover in it how God operates and what pleases him. And when you ask for things according to his will, be sure of this, he'll do it. He'll do it. Why? Because it fulfills his promises in his word, and it's according to his will, which he always does that. And he says, call unto me and I'll answer thee. So the question is, when we're facing all the troubles that we are in the world and in our nation, did you ever stop? and just talk to God about it and say, God, I don't understand all this or I don't like this. What I do understand, I don't like it, it's wrong. God is likely to be saying to you, yes, I agree, you're right and it is wrong. And then you might ask God to help with the situation and you might say, well, that's a good request. You're asking for me to do my will um, and he may well answer your question. I do think all of our other talk all of the politics, all of the other stuff that's involved in relationships with ships with people, all that stuff doesn't count anywhere near just talking to God about it and saying, God, I can't control this. He says, I know. And you say, we need your help. He says, yes, you do. And when you do that and you ask him in faith, watch and see what God will do. Things that you and I might say are too late, it's beyond hope, it's not beyond God. Don't ever lose your faith or your hope in what he could do with the situation, okay? I love you. God bless you. Have a great day.